Oh, the holidays are upon us. Soon we'll all be sitting by the fireplace, sipping eggnog while we spend time with our family and friends, opening presents and watching the snow fall outside. Yet, there's one tradition that is often very misunderstood during this time of year, especially among us Americans. It's using the phrase, Happy Holidays. Some folks think that using the term, instead of saying Merry Christmas, or Happy Hanukkah, or some other holiday, diminishes the importance of this time of year. They think it's too recent, too modern, without a tradition of its own. However, when one does a little digging, you'll soon find out that it has a rich and treasured history here in the United States, and even in the Hoosier State. The term holiday dates back to the 15th century as a variation of the 12th century word holiday, which is itself an old English variation of the word halligdee, or something like that. The word is a classic mashup, taking the words holy and day and making them the proverbial pair. In the United States, holiday specifically refers to a day of celebration, or generally a holiday season, a period of time between November and January that comprises a string of holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Malid Anabi, I think that's right, it's the birth of Muhammad, Kwanzaa, and New Year's. So that's holiday. What about happy holidays? Contrary to popular belief, the use of happy holidays goes back to at least the 1840s here in the United States. Peruse some historic newspapers and you'll see how far back it really goes. The December 25th, 1843 issue of the New York Herald and the New York Daily Tribune ran a poem entitled The Christmas Holidays, which starts with the stanza. The merry happy holidays are here with us once more. Adieu with glee to 43 and welcome 44. Each lady fair expects her beau, some present nice to bring, and Santa Claus makes every child as happy as a king. Serialized literature also served as a popularizer for the term Happy Holidays. In Indiana, the Evansville Journal published a short story in 1845 by Anna Maria Hall called The Wise Thought, in which she uses the phrase within the context of the Christmas season. What bustle, what preparation, what dancing gave the country folks enough to talk about during the happy Christmas holidays, I cannot describe. However, when one looks at data trends, the term really started taking off in the mid to late 19th century, particularly in the 1860s. This was a result of many factors. The Civil War's bitter divisions encouraged a reunification of the country, and the rise of a mass communications culture, particularly with newspapers, facilitated such an effort. One such avenue for this reunification was consumerism. Advertisers encouraged the use of happy holidays as a way to appeal to a broader swath of customers. Mass immigration during the mid to late 19th century, coupled with new native-born religious traditions, contributed to an increasingly diverse religious culture. Catholics, Jews, Eastern Orthodoxies, Evangelicals, and a wide variety of religious beliefs became the new norm in American life. Saying Happy Holidays celebrated past traditions while encouraging new ones. This became even more prominent in the 20th century, with newspapers using Happy Holidays in broader ways. In fact, Indiana newspapers provided countless examples of it. The South Bend News Times, the Jewish Post, the Sullivan Daily Times, the Greencastle Daily Banner, and the Indianapolis Recorder all include advertising that uses Happy Holidays, both in connection to Christmas as well as the general season. This is no coincidence. Like with the Gilded Age, the mid-20th century's continued use of mass consumerism and unification culture was a direct result of World War II, which had ripped the world apart. After the war, a new wave of mass immigration and religious diversity encouraged overarching cultural norms, like Happy Holidays, as a way to include the nation's newest citizens. America has always been at its best when it encouraged inclusion and unity. And using Happy Holidays is one small tangential aspect of that tradition. Now, what can we draw from all this? First, using the term Happy Holidays dates back much farther than is usually considered, and its use in newspapers is often explicitly tied to Christmas. Second, advertising used the phrase in many ways, both around the country and here in Indiana. 
Third, a mass consumer culture, coupled with a growing religious and ethnic diversity, actively encouraged phrases like happy holidays as a way to appeal to a wide customer base and the nation's yearning for unity. So, saying happy holidays not only has a long and nuanced history, but it also reaffirms all the great holidays during this time of year. With that in mind, I will unabashedly say it during my family get-togethers this month, and I hope you will too. Happy holidays! <laughs>